Police officers are supposed to ensure law and order, but in Nigeria, many of them live in terrible conditions. Conditions you may find hard to believe. These are some pictures taken by our reporter when he visited a police barrack in Ibadan, southwest Nigeria. So my surprise is this, even after this collapse now, yeah, people yeah. continue to live here. You know it's an emergency something. Yeah. So there's nowhere we can go. Recently, one of these buildings collapsed, leaving police officers and their families with nowhere to live. So my surprise is this, even after this collapse now, yeah, people yeah. continue to live here. You know it's an emergency something. Yeah. So there's nowhere we can go. Residents had been complaining that the buildings were falling apart, but their cries went unheard. Officers risk their lives and the safety of their families living in these unfit buildings. Interestingly, when the Ibadan building collapse happened, uh, the media, the police uh, authorities, they didn't allow journalists to interview uh, residents. They did not uh, allow journalists to even take pictures of the incident. Uh, so by the time we went, uh, you know, I didn't go as a journalist. The police authorities had long left and were mm -hmm. able to interact with some of these persons who were affected. The challenge is that uh, for some places, they are scared of not losing their job. So it's what uh, Fela Nikola Kokuti called uh, suffering and smiling. The police prefer to just keep quiet while they... So from my own understanding, I had to just disguise in some instances, not even, uh, you know, uh, uh, say I'm a journalist, but then to interact with them as uh, a concerned Nigerian. There's a woman, you remember, the woman who said, each time it rains, she prefers to bring her children outside of the building because she's scared that the building may collapse. She's scared that the foundation, may, I mean, for the already weak foundation, may lead to destruction of the building. The government needs to address this crisis and provide decent housing units. There are plans to develop new barracks, but some officers are not sure they will be able to afford the house rents. On the other hand, Millions have been budgeted for the renovation of these barracks, but no tangible change has been seen. Rents are also being deducted from the salaries of the officers on a monthly basis for maintenance. But judging from the pictures we have seen so far, it doesn't seem there has been any maintenance of these buildings. Some years ago, the federal government uh, awarded to some, to some contract, uh, the, the contractors, the contractors. Yes, sir. to renovate the whole barracks. Yes, sir. At that time, they are, they are collecting our lodging. That is uh, our rent, which police are supposed to give us. That time, they are, they are, the police authorities is removing it from our salary. Mm. They, they, now they awarded back to one contractor, mm. which he came and he removed the, the old drink that was there before. Mm. Then he now play this red uh, zinc, which is new one now. But the general renovation. The general renovation, they do some manual, and they went into the toilet and do some renovation there, damage the toilet. Dig a uh, mighty uh, the soccer way here, did a lot of things, but at the end of the day, we, we discovered that they abandoned it and, and left everything just like that. Before we are talk about the uh, people receiving bribe, we must first ask them that how much are they even receiving? I mean, so some of them want to even leave the barracks, but they don't even have money to cater for that. Some of them have children in schools, they want their, their children to go to school. So with that, they don't even have uh, what it takes to now consider renting apartments outside the barracks. So for some of them, if you check really, especially the low ranking officer who are not living in the barracks, you get to realize that not their, it is not their salary they are using to pay their house rent. So they have to look for other means to do that. So in this regard, we cannot in any way disconnect because everybody wants to live good life. Uh, it's just not just in the police sector, any organization that is not paying way, that people's welfare are not taken care of, people want to look for another means to survive. Uh, why this is not to justify uh, the bribery and uh, you know what's uh, the, the corruption or the, the corrupt practice of police? I think it is of utmost importance that necessary authorities, not just the police now, but all uh, you know all 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 uh, you know security sectors, uh, they must indeed ad ad address the welfare of the officials. The police have developed a reputation for taking bribes to add to their pay. If they had better welfare, would that continue to be the case? 
So how does this affect your mental ability it, as a police it, officer? It demoralizes our, our, it makes me not to believe in police anymore.